Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 39. Alright, the previous episode, um, Opacho came in contact with Yo and you know, like Yo and his crew. And uh, we kind of got to, got to see her uh, oversoul a little bit. <laughs> and she like, you know, gave us a warning that uh, how tells Yo to go and uh, you know, like uh, go back into the tournament again and uh, otherwise he will like you know he he's going to take uh not not take but he has basically taken uh red sip and serum as hostages so you will have to go in there and you himself also like you know wants to uh participate in the shaman fight as well uh you know when we get to see him and anna actually talking about it we see that he also like you know has this intrinsic desire to fight in the shaman fight um so uh, he decides okay let's go to marco and convince him marco and john because th the promise was made to them so he goes there and uh, in the beginning we are like you know having a little fight be between marco and yo like you know like all the other um <coughs> exos as well where there were like a little there was a little fighting john is still underwater i think and uh we meet a new character not new character but we get officially introduced to a new character who is um luckiest yeah i think that was his name he is supposed to be the founder of the x laws he and marco are supposed to be the founders and he was like a you know a mentor figure to marco so he has come back and according to marco he had actually betrayed the x laws and went to how so these things are happening now they are like you know going to have a little fight between each other and uh, yeah things are like you know starting like and and, and i think uh, uh Lysark is also going to join in and as well like a lot of things are happening let's see what uh, happens in this episode so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 39 of shaman king i'll be putting the subtitles on the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's the countdown three two one go okay <laughs> um yeah all the others are like knocked out yeah but she's um yeah she's still like you know underwater doing her not training that that the thing that she goes through you know like putting herself always through life and that's it that situation so that her furyoku can increase <clears throat> i wonder who is uh, obviously I'm, I'm sure john is strong stronger than luckiest yeah i was going to say like i wonder who is stronger but then i realized that this is john we are talking about Oh, who knows? I'm not sure. Like, we still don't know how strong Luckist actually is. So, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of wondering, like, this is supposed to have 52 episodes, isn't it? So are we almost at the end? Because this is 30, episode 39. But I feel like there's a lot of things that needs resolving. I don't know. I will see. Okay. John. Yeah, but. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Okay. One's mental strength. <laughs> Look at him laughing. Oh. Yeah, true. Okay. Oh, must be. F oh, my God. For John. Yeah. He's waiting for that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we will be falling into his trap. My god. Ah. Oh. Damn, she, she defeated him that easily. Come on. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Oh. Um. Um. Yeah, that's not how it works. I I'm afraid. <laughs> Yeah, like, what type of reasoning is that? Yeah. Um... No. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, he's actually targeting. I'm in the, I'm in the Maru. Oh no. Come on, Lysark. Now is your. Lysark, we need your help. Wait, who? Oh, it's Jan. Wait, that's Jan, isn't it? Yep. But she's already out. No, wait, what's happening? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. I was like, didn't they talk about like not bringing Jan out? Okay. The girl I sought far and wide for. What? Oh, wait, so, okay. Uh, well, he knows. Oh my God. I think that's also. <laughs> I think that's also uh, a fake one. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that's also a fake one. What? Oh! Oh, so this is the real one, so... Okay, okay. Huh. Let's... Oh. 
Oh my god. Yo. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. Okay, that was really really well made plan in like a matter of seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take his gun. What the hell? Hmm. Yeah. What? Yes, come on. Yeah, if you keep using something, yeah, like you know, for a lot of time, it, it takes the owners, yeah. Damn. <laughs> What? Oh. <laughs> President. With some idol company or something like that. Oh, what? Super Marco. Wait, what's happening in this episode? Oh, makes sense. This is a really weird backstory, I have to say. <clears throat> Children. Hmm. Whoa! Um, can someone stop him? Oh. Yo, st someone. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Luck is just still knocked out. <laughs> okay. There you go. Permission granted. <laughs> oh 
my god, this guy. Okay, yo. <laughs> Serious attire. <laughs> oh. Luckiest lasso. <laughs> wow, there's quite a few of them now. Oh boy, and Opach is also here. Sitting with them. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh boy. Hmm. Ah! As soon as she says something, everyone. <laughs> Wow. Oh. Uh. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that's true. Okay. <clears throat> to become one with the great spirit. Oh. Oh. Okay. Wait, you're one of the enemies, yeah. But, but you, you're gonna tell him. Reach the king one must ten pounds. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, that's why. Okay, okay, so to like, you know, reduce the number of people. Hmm. Okay. Well. True. Yeah, and he, we need to make uh, how the sh like you know. <laughs> yeah <clears throat> yep exactly
Okay. All right, here we go. Versus Vidyarija. Yeah. Okay. I'm I think oh my god. I feel like No, I feel like something else is going to happen here. I feel like they will be extremely strong or something. Oh no, Ren's going to get whacked off, I think. Ah, uh, I don't think so. <clears throat> yep, they are quite strong. <clears throat> Whoa, what the? <coughs> yeah, in okay. Weakest. Whoa. Kun Kundali. All mana to nothingness. Wow, okay. Yeah. Um Okay. Yeah, he knows that he Okay, there you go. All right. Um, quite a few things uh, happened this episode, which I have to actually go back to see again because I feel like things happen so quickly. I wasn't able to keep up with a few things. I don't know, like, and I, f I felt a little bit, you know, a little bit difficulty in in actually like you know reading the subtitles, and I feel like the subtitles were also a little bit weird this episode i don't know but a few things i it, it actually took me a little bit of time to actually realize what is happening I'll, I'll have to go back to a few other scenes which i actually need to see again okay so so the things that happened here um number one john is 
like you know John, not only John, but everyone all of them they are like you know they are their oversoul are just normal oversouls so one that's like one question i'm having how were they able to make them like uh like you know seem seem like angels how were they able to do that like that's one thing i don't understand okay all right that's the end all right this episode <clears throat> okay so first of all uh <clears throat> the thing that um okay uh first we see marco and the luckiest fighting you know like that scene and then <clears throat> Lysa says that we actually need to bring Jun up because she is probably the only one who can stop Luckist. <coughs> but <coughs> Yo kind of uh, already like you know like using his intellect he was able to understand what uh, actually Luckist was planning. Luckist was actually planning not he, he came here not for Marco but he actually came here for Jun as well. So he was actually waiting for Jun to come up so that he can even take her down. So <clears throat> bringing John up means actually falling into his trap. So Yo comes up with a different plan, which is a very interesting plan. It it has like layers upon layers of deception. So what actually happens is he he brings up mm, a, like you know the the the, the uh, John's uh, that coffin and Shamash as well. And <clears throat> what he does is he. The Shamash was actually a copy made by uh, those, um, what's the name? Uh, I forgot the name of, the, of those two spirits that are with Yo, you know, those two, um, which is made by one of them. And the other one, the other copy was actually um, <clears throat> Lyserk. So what actually happens is he brings up the actual Jan in the coffin, which obviously, um, uh, Luckist did not know, but it was like the Shamash, which was a duplicate, which was an actual bait, which he brought in front to make um, Luckist think that, oh, that one is a fake. So let me go and attack uh, Lyserk. Lyserk was also a fake, but he wasn't able to see that because it was under the shadow. So like he saw Shamash didn't, didn't was not casting any shadow so she re realized that yeah this one is a fake so let me get Lyserk uh, and he tried to do that but unfortunately that was also a fake so using like you know using that as an opportunity um, <coughs> they actually uh, like you know like stop Luckiest uh, just a sec okay I'm I, I myself I'm getting a little bit confused here let me go back to that scene again just a sec okay here we go while I was busy with you <coughs> the boy Lyserk left an oversoul double in his place yeah as he hauled Jan out of the sea with Zelel and told her to send Shamash the holy girl uh, okay you were always going to find out that she was a fake I knew that when you did, you would attack the one who made the Oversoul, Lyserk. Yeah. <clears throat> then both Oversouls would disappear at the same time, and you could go back to after Amidamaru again. You needed to beat Maiden, Maiden too, and you're smart, so you would use the least wasteful method. I left the fake me in the shade of Arkex. There you go. Uh, so you wouldn't notice the lack of a shadow. But we owe our gratitude to Miss Maiden more than anyone. Um, just as we had planned, she rescued you with Shamas. Okay, makes sense. So that's what actually happened. So, okay, I, I understand now. Okay, I was, I was having a little bit of problem to understand. So what actually happened is he <coughs> created <coughs> two uh, fakes. Number one was Jan, number two was Lyserk. Lyserk was underneath the shadow, so you know that that shadow problem was not happening. 
while Jan was used as a bait, the fake one was used as a bait. So what actually happened is Luckist thought that, oh, this Jan is fake, which means like he, you know, obviously his attention shifted to Lyserk, <clears throat> who he thought that, uh, you know, like Lyserk was the one you, who used the Oversoul. So if you defeat him, all the others, like, you know, the, the fake Shamash, the fake Jan, all of them will go away and he can go back to Amida Maru again. He thought that obviously he did not know that the coffin that was put out, like, you know, brought up contained the actual Jan and the Shamash was not a fake Shamash, but that was the actual Shamash of Jan, which saved, uh, you know, um, <clears throat> yo. So this is what basically happened. So that was like his, like, you know, like his main mistake where he actually went for Lyserk thinking that, you know, like that is the original Lyserk while it turned out to be a fake and the original Lyserk kind of came from behind him and got him. So yeah, that's what happened. It, it took me a while to actually understand again. So that's why, you know, like I, I kind of went back and so, saw that part again. All right, makes sense. That's why this, this was, as I said, it was a very, uh, in, uh, com not complicated, but a very, uh, uh, yeah, intricate plan. It had layers upon layers of like, you know, <clears throat> like uh, making the other person, the enemy believe something while the opposite was actually happening. So yeah. Okay, now one thing I, I have to go back again like here it it happened so quickly i wasn't able to <clears throat> keep up so um when uh Luckist is talking about uh you know like john he says that um in that little flashback he says the girl i sought far and wide for so that lord how might be defeated okay um <clears throat> Just a little more determined than most, just a little bit more sensitive to spirits than most, just a little girl with no family. But now she's grown so much and it's my responsibility to stop her. So basically what happened here, so he, what he's saying is he actually like, you know, brought John into the ex laws uh, <clears throat> to defeat how. Now this probably, not probably, but this definitely happened before he betrayed them to like Lord, like you not know, to house uh, team. Now I do wonder why he did that. Because as he said that his original initial plan was to actually defeat Hao. You know, that's why he went and uh, went and looked for John. But then like, you know, he's now in house team. So I wonder what actually happened for him, as actually, you know, for him to actually jump ship. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's like a reason which we're probably going to know in the future. <coughs> But yeah, so this actually shows us, not shows, but this actually, uh, you know, gives us the information that Jun is just a normal girl, you know, so, which is obviously like a big shock to Jun herself and all the others. Now, <clears throat> okay, so here it is, uh, uh, to find out she is not some holy girl, but uh, and, like, you know, where is it? Yeah, it must be a shock to find out she is not some holy girl specially procured by Marco and Luckist, but just an ordinary girl. Okay, what can you do? Yeah, the idea she was some kind of god was obviously. Now, I do wonder how they were able to make everyone believe that. You know, like, not like even, even Jun herself. Like, J Jun's oversoul was her own oversoul. So, yeah. Are unable to realize that she's just an ordinary person, an ordinary shaman. It's kind of like, and I still don't have any idea how they were able to do that. So, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and then, like, you know, they give us a few more information as to what the actual original form of the angels are. They're cars. And. So these cars were actually kind of having like not a disguise, not a disguise, but like you know, it had like an alternative form of those angels. And here uh, Yo talks about uh, Sukumogami, Sukumogami, which are actually um, things like, you know, inanimate objects, which if used for, you know, like if used and if taken care of for quite a long time, you know, they actually inhabit the owners you know feelings and uh what do you call it 
okay here we go let me just read that part yeah they show up in old picture scrolls too the owner must uh, owner's feelings of attachment there you go must have accumulated and taken on a form of their own yeah and here we get to see like this this part was extremely like you know like uh, everything was happening so quickly i i was not able to actually <laughs> keep up with like and then he suddenly starts talking about um you know his uh, car where, where is it just a sec supercars dealers uh, the dealer which uh, <laughs> which uh, where, where is it <clears throat> Super Marco Limited. My company set up with Luckist's backing. My God, the profits steadily grew, and eventually we designed our own car. Okay, to put on sale. That's when it happened. Yeah, he appeared before us and all that. Okay, so basically, um, yeah, that was just their, like, you know, the car dealership. Uh, with Luckist's backing, they made that, you know, like as a thing. And how, I don't know why, how came and attacked, like, you know. <coughs> you know what, I feel like they're <coughs> skipping something over here. <coughs> um... Correct me if I'm wrong, or, or am I actually forgetting something? Did they actually mention this before or somewhere? Did, is Marco somehow related to some orphanage or something? Like he's talking about my home, my children, and the place that is burning. It looks like a, like, you know, like a church or an orphanage or something. I'm not sure, but like. Yeah, okay, that's when he appeared before us. Um, how? I lost everything I had. My home, my children. All that I held dear. Okay, so yeah, like he, he's talking about his car dealership first. You know, and then he suddenly starts talking about his home and his children. Like obviously, like that's why I'm saying, is this somehow related to some orphanage or something like uh it would make sense if you know like if he's actually talking about his orphanage because uh john was brought like you know as, as we see in the little flashback we see um, luckiest taking john with him and uh, he says that a person of an ordinary a little girl who has lost his her parents you know and who is a little bit you know proficient in using mana and you know and is a little bit stronger so that's why um, they took her in so it would make sense if it, like you know if it was actually related to some like an you know, orphanage or something let me know like i i cannot remember if they actually mentioned this before if they actually mentioned this before in the in one of the previous episodes and i just forgot you know like yeah like i, I that's like you know that's probably my mistake then but if they didn't mention about this anywhere and suddenly in this episode they are like you know putting so much info like this episode is kind of feels a lot weird in my opinion like there's so many things that happen like the first portion like i thought this whole episode would be them fighting against um luckiest and like you know stuff but they basically kind of ram they kind of crammed that into the first part of this episode and i feel like they try to rush things i don't know or it, it might be just me you know like this is, feels kind of weird like there, there's a few portions that feel a little bit rushed but yeah i don't know so yeah let me know if that like you know if, if he's like actually talking about his orf an orphanage or something because like you know how coming and attacking a car dealership makes no sense <laughs> it makes no sense really so <clears throat> yeah it, it, it's definitely like an orphanage or something like that and you know like because of that because he lost everything you know uh the the cars like you know that he took care of so long like you know like uh, be, like you know became like a sukumogami and became their spirit uh, ally and it took the form of um you know it took the form of the angels okay makes sense now here's one question i st i'm still having here 
I could understand Mark, Co, and Luckist, them actually, you know, convert, not converting, but them actually uh, <clears throat> making their uh, spirit, uh, spirit guardian, spirit ally, like spirit, you know, look like an angel. I can understand that. But how were they able to make Jerns, and not only Jerns, but all the other members, you know, their oversoul also looked like that. Like I I don't I, I don't understand that part. Like you know there there's uh, there were cars you know there uh, there spirit uh, spirit uh, spiritual guardian their their cars. So maybe they can you know make their appearance change and make them look like an angel. I can understand that. What but how how did they do the same thing to the other members and John? Like that part I I I am unable to make any sense of. Like not only that, how were they not able to understand? You know, how were they tricked all this while? Like it's a, it is their own oversoul. So how were they tricked all this while? This this part doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Like, yeah, let me know if you guys know anything about it. But yeah, anyways, uh, okay, that was that. And then Marco tries to like you know like kill himself, but John comes and stops him, and she's like yeah like uh even even if like you know i'm not i'm just a normal ordinary girl it doesn't matter there should be laws there should be justice and you know like i'm going to keep going on my path and marco is like ah the little girl that i raised look at her <laughs> oh my god and yeah and then we see like in the next scene we see all of them kind of like you know in in, in yo's room not room but yo's place all like you know like and making a little <laughs> a little uh conference type of thing them all like sitting down and all opacho is also there all the ex laws are also there and <laughs> my god and then <clears throat> And then uh, the other members, you know, they were talking about, oh, like, I don't trust you, you know, you, uh, you, you tricked us all this while, you know, like, you deceived us, this and that. And Jan is like, <laughs> Jan is like, no, you know, don't, like, you know, you don't have to, like, you know, put the, every, all the blame on Marco. Like, you know, I also take responsibility for this, this and that. And they are like, <laughs> they start, <laughs> oh my God. And then they start uh, i don't know that weird like thing that they do like the x thing that they do they start doing that <laughs> oh my god but yeah everything i'm i'm sure everything will be fine with the x loss now you know everything is good um like yeah they they're okay now you know like no more problems i doubt and i doubt anything will happen to them uh, but the main problem here is uh what to do against how now, according to Yo, what they're going to do is they're going to let Hao become the Shaman King first. Now, <clears throat> the process is a very complicated process, as as Hao, uh, as Yo says. He says that how to actually you know, become one with the uh, Great Spirit, he needs to go through a cleansing ritual, yeah, and enters a temporary sleep of uh, a sleep of temporary death. Which is going to take a while. So at that time he'll be vulnerable. And Yo says that that's when we will strike. So basically, obviously we won't be able to become the Shaman King because Hao is so strong. We let him become the Shaman King. And while he is becoming the Shaman King during that process, we're going to strike. Now, this seems like a very good, uh, what can I say? Like, you know, very interesting um, plan. Like, you know, it, it might work. But I don't know. I feel like something, like you know, diff, like you know, like, like I don't know. Like this is how we are talking about. So who knows if it actually, if he doesn't take much time to become one with the greater spirit, and if they are not able to reach in time and defeat him in time, and somehow how becomes the shaman king within that time, then everything will, like you know, like everything will just. Uh, be for not so this this has a lot of what can I say I don't know like uncertainty but still this is the best plan I feel like for now now not only that there's also another big problem okay that's what they say here um where is that part okay where is it 
Okay, yeah. Lucky says that it's nothing that Lord Howe doesn't actually already know. Yeah, like um, Howe also knows that this is like a problem. Okay, to reach the king, one must defeat the 10 patch who guard him. This is, that is the true, uh, true duty and main purpose of the patch efficient. In addition to them, Lord Howe has us. That is the reason Howe recruited so many more allies after his latest reincarnation. Okay. Yeah, this, this episode is a bit, I have to say, like this episode, I feel like it has quite so many information. It's like an info dump episode. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm actually unable to understand quite a few things, but I, okay. So basically what's happening here is that means how realizes the thing that uh, Yo said, you know, that the plan that he said that, yeah, we're going to strike when how is like in the temporary life, uh, like, you know, temporary death state, we're going to strike then that how himself knows. You know and he knows that will be one of the problems but you know like that's why to to actually go and attack him we need to defeat the patch efficient first and also house own like you know friends and their minions first as well so so that's why he like you know he he's not that much concerned about it because he knows that uh the the even if the patch efficients are not able to stop you know yo and his team his, his friends will be able to do that so he knows that so so basically that's what is happening here so okay all right so and then uh, Lysark asks the question here like if that is really how it goes then <clears throat> then why the hell are we having these matches for if it's all to decide one king why do something that could mean it all goes to waste yeah, because not everybody could just walk in. Only a limited number of shamans hold the key to that place. The 12 people from the four teams that win the primary tournament. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Did I miss this while I was reacting to it? Just a sec. Only a limited number of shamans hold the key to that place. Okay, um, the 12 people, 12, from the four teams that win the primary tournament, 12 people, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. oh, okay, okay. All right, so basically, okay, so, we need like a key to get in there. Is that what she's saying? Which, which the uh, people who are winning the, the final few people, few shamans, they're going to get that or something. Okay, the last of the first round bouts happened yesterday. The Tathagatas walked through high T800. The Devas also had an easy win over the Cowboys. Okay. Both teams are part of the Gandhara and so called three great powers. It's safe to say they are pretty formidable foe. Uh, Vidyaraja, who is also seated, is another Gandhara team. Team Daren, they are your opponents today. Okay. Mm. Um, you know what? If I am making any mistakes or I'm unable to understand a few things, let me uh, like you know, correct me down in the comments because I feel like there's quite a lot of information that was in you kind know, of revealed in this episode, and um, the subtitles was kind of weird, so I wasn't able to understand quite a few things. Uh, but I have a basic uh, what can I say? Basic. Uh, I have a basic. Uh, I, I understand the few things, the, the main, like, you know, um, important parts they were actually telling us. I, I understand them, but I feel like I, I probably missed a few things. Okay, so what Anna says here is, um, so the Lysef's, Lysef's question is that why do this even? Why have these fights when there's like the, the, the final, like, you know, the final process of becoming the shaman king if it is like you know that much uh, like you know easy to just you know stop that 
why even have this fight and why why are we going through this process then anna says that that's because you know not everyone is going to have the key to 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 reach that the the initial i think that the initial few not initial but the final few teams they're going to have that opportunity or that key to get there or something is that what she was saying i don't know anyways um i feel like it's something like that but uh, okay let's just move on um that was that and then we get into the next part of the actual fight ren the uh, ren team and and uh, the vidya i think that what was her name vidya raja okay uh these two team start fighting ren is obviously like you guys we cannot go back i'm going to take care of this and they start fighting the 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 guy who was you know like the weakest as he said he's the weakest of this team you know he has the power of mana cancellation so that's why he was easily able to get past the you know ren's initial attack and <clears throat> he just like you know kind of gave ren a, a, a push back and like ren is strong but i don't know how the, he's going to fight him you know mana cancellation that seems a, a pretty what can i say uh, quite an overpowered like you know ability like i don't know how ren is going to do this but yeah we'll have to wait and not only like if even if ren defeats this person there are two more left uh, but we also have two uh, on our team as well, Horo Horo and Chocolove. But I don't know. I feel like this will be a very difficult battle. I, I don't know if, if somehow they're able to win this. I will be very surprised. You know, if Ren and his team are somehow able to win this. Because I feel like the Gandharas are very strong. So, who knows? We'll, we'll have to see, you know. So, yeah. And yeah, that was it. And Ren says that, like, you know, you guys are not my target. My target is beyond you. That is yo. So that's why I'm not going to, like, you know, be defeated in this match. But yeah, let's see. Let's just wait for it. Because I don't know. I feel like, I feel like they're very, like, you know, like, weak compared to the Gandhara. Yeah, um, let's just wait for it. Okay, so yeah, that was this episode. Like, oh my god. So, as I said, correct me if I'm wrong. So, the main things that happened in this episode is number one, Marco and uh, Luckist and Jan. Uh, we get to know Jan is an ordinary girl, number one. Uh, now, there's one thing I did not understand is how uh, Marco and Luckist were able to make others believe that, you know, like um, these were angels, that their, their spirits were actually angels, not cards. Like their oversouls, they can change it. I'm sure they can do something with that. But what about the other car you know, other teammates? And what about John herself? How were they able to trick them? That's my question here. I, I like, you know, that's one thing. Uh, number two, uh, which I have another, like, you know, doubt about is, 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 are they related to some orphanage? You know, like he says, he, he talks about his children, which, and, and the, the place that was like burning looks like some kind of a church or an orphanage. So is he like you know was he talking about an orphanage or something? That's another my another question. Mm. Uh, another thing is that um, no, these two are the my only like you know doubts. Like that's like you know let me know if you guys know anything about them. Okay, uh, so yeah, we get to know John is like a normal uh, like you know an ordinary kid, and you know like and and marco uh you kind know, of reveals everything about his own spirit uh you know ally all that stuff how they found it how their original thing was like a super car dealer <laughs> how he and luckies were like partners in that and how their cars like became their spirits because you know like of like they, they became like sukumogami kind of thing so yeah that was that that was like the first part the second part is like where we get to know like Yo's like you know plan of actually defeating how when he is undergoing that process and when he's like in a sem semi like you know life and death state and here like you know here as far as i could understand what is happening is how if if he wins the shaman fight he will become the shaman king there is a process involved in it he will need to become like a semi life and death situation is going to go there that at that time he won't be able to do anything he'll be vulnerable and 
the people will be guarding them the number one is the patch officials who will be like uh, like you know will be guarding him during that process so that no one actually comes and attacks him number two is his own friends and his own own minions who are also going to be there to defend him so so what we have to do is while how is undergoing that process we need to go and defeat the patch efficient house friends and house minions and then get in and then defeat how that's we, what we need to do and how also knows that so correct me if i'm wrong that's how i was able to understand this whole process now Lysel's question here is then why even do the fights according to anna uh this place is like uh like you know like it, it like you know, it requires a key or something now this this part i i don't understand was that like a metaphor or was that like she was was she really talking about a key i don't understand that thing you know but basically not everyone is able to go to that place so the, the people who the final participants will also will be the only people who are able to go there something like that i think as i again as i said if i'm wrong about it let me know and uh, yeah and that was it these are like my questions in this episode and uh, yeah so that's it so that's it guys my god i feel like this episode was kind of like you know this discussion portion was kind of a, a little bit weird because i myself was kind of struggling to understand a few things so, <laughs> yeah i kind of stopped and like you know, kind of stuttered in a lot of portions so yeah like <laughs> anyway so but i i'm able to understand I, I i have a vague understanding of what actually happened this episode so anyway so that's it guys so thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to shaman king episode number 39 so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of shaman king until then goodbye and have a nice day